morning guys and welcome back. Morning guys. Today is officially the start of our Alaska road trip. Finally. It's finally happening. Yes. We've had two weeks stuck in the south of Utah with the flu, the weather's been really bad, but during that time we have done some little upgrades to get us ready yes. for those Alaskan roads. So yeah. just quickly run through Let's what we've done. It. So as you saw a few weeks back when we were in California, we had the rear shocks replaced. We've also had brand new tires put on because ours were getting a little bit low. So we've also replaced the front shocks with Bilstein B6s. We were gonna do it ourselves, but the bolts, I literally don't think they've never come off the van and they were so, so seized. The tools we had, couldn't get them off at all. We've got an impact driver um, and socket wrenches didn't make a difference, didn't even make a budge. So we had to take it to a garage to get them fitted, unfortunately. But that's the rear and fronts all done. Brake pads are fine, check those. We have done an air filter change and an oil change and a piston fluid change. All right, so before we go anywhere, let's get you up to speed on where we are. So the last time you saw us, we were here in Tecate getting bribed by the police. We then went to San Diego, had that massive to-do list. We've driven up through LA, across Nevada and Las Vegas into this little corner of Utah called St. George. Now, for those of you worried that we're missing all of this area, we're coming back here when we come back south. So we're gonna be starting up here in this little corner of Utah and we are heading north. Ben and I are pretty much just driving in silence. Like, I think both of us are completely lost for words in this landscape. It's exactly like you see in the films. It's almost just this Martian landscape of painted red rock. There's canyons, there's snow-capped mountains. You're driving through the rocks and through the canyons. It's in absolutely insane. You have to take it slow. We're actually driving along the ridge. You fall asleep either side, you're a goner. Right, so here we go. Now we're on the Burr Trail Road, which is supposedly one of the most scenic drives in Utah. The Burr Trail Road was created by a 19th century Mormon settler, John Burr, as a route to drive his cattle. Such a simple purpose hides what he really achieved a path through an almost impassable landscape of badlands and canyons, which is still the only road to cut through this remote corner of Utah. Wow, hey, what a spot for a lunch break. The Utah is really famous for its slot canyons, which are these really narrow canyons in these huge like red cliffs. And I'd read on a blog that on this road is a canyon called the Singing Canyon, and it's not signposted, it's just this little kind of pull-in. And I think it's down here, so after we finish this, we're gonna go into this little slot canyon, our first slot canyon ever. Right, okay. cheers to the road ahead. Cheers Alaska. to Alaska. Ben's impatient, so while I was doing lunch, he's already been to have a look. I've already gone and <laughs> took a sneak peek and it is absolutely awesome. For the first slot canyon, come on, let me show you. Follow me, madam. Oh, look, for like an Instagram couple. Oh my God, the cliche. Except for the other way around, you're, you're the girl. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Wow, look at this. First slot canyon. What? Are you fart are you farting to see if it echo? <laughs> it's called the singing canyon because it like I think it like, echoes your voice and it's like perfect acoustics and Ben's farting to see if it makes a nice sound. My gift is my song. How do you describe it? It's like you're getting eaten by the rocks, or by the mountain. What was that? Like a big vagina. It does a little bit. Taking it all in, it's, it's quite like silencing, isn't it? The vastness of it, the beauty. Ah. Oh. The 
rocks look, it looks like it's painted. It, it does, yeah. Oh my word, look at that. That's where we've just come from. Okay, so we're at the boundary for Capital Reef National Park, so I can't drone to show you this absolutely incredible scene in front of us. I think this is called the Water Pocket Fold, and it's basically like a big crumple in the Earth's crust, and it formed a barrier to the first pioneers when they came over with their wagons. They couldn't cross it. And when you look at it, it's just this, I don't even know how to explain it. It's like someone's got a piece of paper and then scrunched it and... Vast chasm. It's a va yeah, it's this huge chasm. But now the tarmac has ended, it is just mud, ungraded road. And what that means is we can actually test out the shocks. Since we've changed the shocks, the ride is so much smoother, but now this is gonna put it to its test. Shall we hit the road? I just can't get over that view. Oh, this is amazing. This is even better than the first bit. We're actually driving on the waterbed, on the canyon like floor. We're about to do the famous bird trail switchbacks. We're approaching the end of the road now. I mean, as you can see, this landscape, it's just out of this world. But here we've got a 12% gradient and the road just switches back and forth. But we're in the National Park now, in Capitol Reef National Park and I can't get the drone out to show you what this looks like from above because I bet it looks spectacular. Oh my gosh. You okay? There we go. Um, I'm, oh, I'm not great if I'm being honest. I'm not enjoying that to my left. Do we get close or are you okay? No! <laughs> oh god, I didn't realise it was like this. Okay. Oh, yeah, this is awesome. What a view that is. This is not for the faint-hearted, is it? This is uh, these switchbacks. Nope. You're doing really well, sweetie. I am. I, I'm sweating like a pig. <laughs> You're sweating like a pig. Is it? How do you feel about that? I'm sweating after coming down that. That was a bit on the um, steep side for so me. You've gone back, forth. Can you see how steep that is? And we've just. You can't even see the road. You can't see the road, and there's no barriers at all, and it's just like this graded thing, and parts of it have crumbled away at the edge. And here we're just like in the middle of, I don't know where. I'm super, super impressed with Utah. I thought you were gonna say with me. Oh, with you, that's it. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> well. mm. Now we've left the bird trail and we are heading back towards the highway, but we've got about 30 miles until we hit the highway and we don't know how much of that is on this ungraded dirt road. Some bits of it are very, very soft and a little bit sketchy and thankfully so far we've been able to get through them. This is definitely a good road to get a feel for what the Dalton Highway is going to be like. Yeah. Proper uh, shakedown road. Shakedown road. Literally. <laughs> So how many miles was that, do you reckon? I reckon that was a good 20 miles. That was a very hairy road. And I've got to say, those shocks and our new tires have paid for themselves already. Like if we'd done this drive, what, before we'd had that done, yeah. say like four weeks ago, it would have been brutal and really uncomfortable and difficult. And it just felt like a bit of a bumpy ride. But Ben did an amazing job of driving that. Like even just like through those muddy bits in the sand, finding the right path and like not getting us stuck. 
We're all on tarmac. We're on tarmac. Back on tarmac. This is where we've just come from. This huge mountain range here. We just crossed over that and then we've just been snaking up through this valley and finally hit the tarmac roads again. Did. Oh, thank you, baby. Absolutely stellar job of driving today. Thank you very much, and I don't know who Stella is, but I have a lot, I have a lot, I've got a lot of faith in, in our van. I'm happy, I'm happy. But yeah, it's been a big day, so we'll catch you in the morning. Morning. Come and see what I found on a little walk this morning with the dog. No, it's, it's so barren, but the rocks are so like carved, like so uniquely. It's almost like being in like pottery world or something. Look, it's like a little mushroom hoodoo. <laughs> Look at it. <laughs> I think they're called hoodoos. These like little things that have been eroded apart from the top bit. It's like partly soft rock. And they form these like little mushroom shapes, and there's this little like mushroom chimney. <laughs> That's really cool, actually. Doesn't this look like we've driven to Mars? Okay, so the plan today was to go to a slot canyon. But we've had a look at the reviews on uh, all trails from yesterday, and there's loads of standing water in there, and it would be impossible to take the dogs through. It's really hard to find a slot canyon which is dog friendly because a lot of them are protected or they're in national parks. So we're in Goblin Valley and whilst we're here we're gonna find some goblins. <laughs> Okay, so these weird little blobby shapes, these are the goblins. They're all over this park. They're actually called hoodoos and they're made from like sandstone and shale and other rock. This all, like all erodes in different ways and at different times. So as it erodes over the millennia, it forms like these, yeah, weird blobby, lumpy little shapes. <laughs> they're really cool. Like I said, it's like pottery world. This one's definitely got a face. Two eyes and like a big mouth. Oh, so we're about to go into the goblin's lair. Goblin's lair. Goblin's lair. So goblin's lair is up there, which I think might be a bit of a scramble up here with the dogs. So maybe one of us stay here. Yeah. Do you want to go and check it out? Do you want me to go first? Yeah. Just trying to scramble down these massive rocks. This is amazing. That, there, that is what I've just climbed down. On the outside, it looks pitch black. I don't know if you saw when we first got in, you look at the goblin today, it looks like this huge dark cave. But there's these almost, there's these like vent skylights, basically just holes in the ceiling, which are just flooding it with light. No wild animals down here. Oh, this is like a perfect shelter. Better climb back up this, otherwise chests are gonna be worried. Just hoping there's no earthquake because those rocks that I climbed in over look like they fell in there. I need to get back, otherwise they're gonna think I've been eaten by the goblin. I didn't like coming down this bit. This was the worst bit for sure. Give it a go. Hello, you two. Go and give it a go. 
man. These have been so good. They just literally have not taken their eyes off the rocks where you went in. <laughs> <laughs> like Spider-Man you way up. <sighs> God, you could play the world's most epic game of hide and seek here, couldn't you? Oh, you could, could you? <laughs> you? I really enjoyed that. It was $20 to come in and it was worth every cent. <laughs> Not every penny. Not every penny, it was worth every cent. We had a big day driving yesterday, so we're just going to go and find a park up that's close by, I think. And judging by the landscape and where we parked yesterday, it should be pretty epic. I'm loving this road, this is amazing. Look at that. It's Utah has pulled out of the bag once again. Our tiny little English brains are blown. We're used to like rolling hills and green fields and here we are at the top of this prehistoric valley. Ben's making fire and not only is Ben making fire, he's gonna cook for us tonight. But that means that I'm on potato peeling duty. Someone's definitely had coal on that fire because it smells like Thomas the Tank. Maybe the stuff I built that myself. Why is this not a Thomas the Tank Engine? I feel like my nan, when we did Sunday dinners, and she'd like be sat doing the kidney beans. Some butter. Health, healthy amount of butter. Some garlic. Rosemary on. Basically, we're just baking these so they go nice and soft. Right, so I've got this seafood blend, this like rub thing to go on the tuna. Right, moment of truth. Whoa! Potatoes are in for a bit too long. It's a shame some of them are burnt because they mm. taste so good. Well, I've had to boil some pasta because there wasn't going to be enough potatoes for both of us. We've come inside to eat because it's getting really cold and windy outside. I think it was quite an ambitious dinner, actually. I think it was. It was, a f like, it was fun, though. Posh potatoes, asparagus, tuna, lamb steak. Like, it was quite ambitious. It was. I do have to say, this tuna is 10 out of 10. Yeah? Mmm. Can we all just have a moment, a two minute silence for our potatoes? May they rest in peace. Yeah, God, this, to be well, fair. Well and truly cremated. Yeah, they came out, they should have just gone straight in an urn. <laughs> they were that cremated. Privacy. <sighs> wow. Look at that. Beautiful, hey? Yeah. Oh, it's getting colder by the second. <laughs>
getting ready to leave. It's gonna be sad to say goodbye. Dancing around the dogs. It's gonna be sad to say goodbye to this place. It's been incredible. But we cannot stay in Utah forever. We are heading north, continuing our road up to Alaska. But before we do, we've got one more thing to do and it is in the snowy mountains up there. What another amazing road, honestly. Well, I did say we were heading to the Snowy Mountains. It's actually the next day now. We drove up yesterday from the south of Utah up to the north. It was only about a four hour drive. We had a little pit stop in a rest area last night. We are just outside Salt Lake City in a place called Park City. And you know what, this week we have driven, we have hiked, we've scrambled, but one thing that we haven't done is get knee deep in some snow. This is Jake, he's gonna be our guide today. And these are all our snowshoes. <laughs> Neither Ben or I have ever snowshoed before. Jake was saying it's the easiest winter sport, which is... <laughs> yeah, if you can walk, you can snowshoe. If we can yeah. walk, we can snowshoe. Bikes are on the toes. So your heel moves, but your yes. your toes, toes. is trapped. Yep, exactly. Try to go skiing too much. Look at your eyebrows. This is all snowfall. That has Look kind that. of been pushed off to the side. <laughs> that is crazy. Yeah, it's, it's just something special. It really is. <laughs> I'll tell you what, it's actually not that difficult with, on the snowshoes. Like, they're pretty kind of easy oh, to walk wow. in. Yeah. Usually the best way to get down is by running down, actually. Really? And when you run down, you'll get kind of a gliding sensation as well. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah! Oh, my God! It does feel like you're floating on the snow. Yeah. It's a good leg workout, that's for sure. Oh, yeah. <laughs> If we didn't have the snowshoes, we'd be sinking to like thigh deep yep. and probably higher in some parts. And we're just kind of cruising along on top of it. It's all going down my shoe. <laughs> so cold. Just lean forward and punch the toes in and don't stop, otherwise you'll start sliding. Lean forward and punch the toes. <laughs> Oh, Jesus again. <laughs> How are you feeling? Good. We are going to go sledding down the mountain. <laughs> Game begin. when you sled in. <laughs> Woo! Ah! <laughs> I'm doing donuts! <laughs> ah. Oh, oh, no! 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 Ah! I have no idea where Ben is behind me. I keep tacking it into these... Really there guys! Ben is lost on the mountain. Oh no, here he comes. Slow coach. Woo! Alright. Game over. Oh. <laughs> 
Oh. I can't feel my ass. I think I plowed the road for them though. So. <laughs> <laughs> the problem is because I was watching you, it was making me laugh, and then I was losing all. I was going all over the place. Thank you so much, Jake. It's yep. lovely oh, to meet yeah. you. So it's lovely to meet you. Yeah. That was awesome. Exclusive excursions. Mm. Not sponsored. We paid for it. But Jake, our guide, he was such such a nice guy. <coughs> so knowledgeable, and we had so much fun on that mountain. That was awesome. We're back. We're dry. God, I'm never going on a sled team with Ben. You were like Mr. Sloco. I couldn't help it. I think I had a wonky one. So I was going oh, really? boing, 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 was boing, boing. <laughs> it was really fun though. It was awesome. Okay, so this is Utah, Nevada. This is where we came in and started the week. And then we came up here, cut across, and then took the really scenic Highway 12, which crosses two national parks. Is the Bear Trail Road. And then there's that long dirt road that took us through the back of Capitol Reef National Park, across here into Goblin State Park. And then our second park up on the cliffs was somewhere, somewhere up here. And then we got back onto the highway and drove all the way up to Park City. So this is a route we've taken through Utah and then Next week is into Idaho and Montana.